What's up everyone, it's Mike from Flight Club. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Immersion RC Rapid Fire Goggle Module. So for the past 18 months or so, I've been using the Furious FPV True D receiver. Um, it was working good, but lately I've been struggling at the races. Um, using 25 milliwatts with eight pilots flying together is a real struggle for the True D sometimes in uh, some, some instances. Um, some races the video is so bad I can't even fly. So over the past few months I've been looking at different solutions to my video problems. Um, I tried upgrading the True D to the most current firmware, most current firmware, which is a uh, 3.7 D. Um, all the firmware did was give you a fancy new menu interface, but the video was pretty much the same. Um, and I also tried this. Uh, the Dock King. The Dock King is made by Furious FPV and it's just like a mini ground station that works with the True D. I'll just plug it in like this. So the idea of the Dock King is that because it's not attached to your head, you can position the antennas in the optimal direction of your quads. Um, but sorry to say the video is no different on the Dot King um, or True D on the headset. Um, I also built an Immersion RC ground station. Um, it was so cumbersome to lug around that I never even used it. The video was only marginally better. wasn't worth the hassle. And I also looked at the Clear Clearview modules. Um, at nearly 400 bucks, if you can even find them, the video was good, but not worth 400 bucks in my opinion. All right, so let's open it up and uh, see what you get. All right, so the Immersion RC Rapid Fire comes with um, the Rapid Fire with the Dominator um, little adapter faceplate thingy, or it comes with another faceplate. Um, I think this one is for the Attitudes. This is a little bit smaller and rounded. And then you also get the the ribbon cable. And then this little module for the ribbon cable um, mod. And then you get you get stickers. Or actually this sticker is for if you do the ribbon cable mod. You're supposed to put this across um, your your goggles and then the sticker will cover up this uh, ribbon cable. All right, so the Rapid Fire is compatible with all Dominator, Fat Shark Dominator goggles, including the V1, V2, V3, SC, HD1, HD2, HD3, HDO, and the Attitude, the um, Attitude, I think V4 or something, but um, pretty much all Fat Sharks. So if you're using the um, HDO or the newer Attitudes, it's pretty much plug and play. Um, if you're using the older pair of Fat Sharks, like I'm using, these are the Dominator H3 or V3 non-HD. Um, you have to do a power mod to supply the module with the five five volts it needs. There's two ways to do this. Um, you can do use this little ribbon cable thingy that came with the. Um, the what is it rapid fire or you can do a simple uh, power mod uh, to the goggles I have a tutorial on how to do this I'll put the link in the description below it's really easy to do and it only takes like five minutes and the way I show you how to do it it's completely reversible and even after you do the mod you can still use um, your true D or whatever and uh, the, the module has a little internal beeper. I'm not sure which one the beeper is. It tells you when you have like a, a low signal or whatever. And then you just plug this sucker in. I'm gonna just do this first so it's easier to see. Plug it in. And you just cover it up like that. And then the, the module has a um, OLED screen which is really nice. It's the contrast is really nice. I've never had any problems uh, seeing the screen in the sunlight. And then also it's got this new, it's all, all it has is a little uh, five-way joystick. It goes left, right, up, down, and push, push in. Um, it's really easy to use because if you go left, right, it just scrolls through the bands. And then up, down is scrolling through the channels. So unlike the Furious where if you want to change channels you have to go through the menu and then select whatever. This one is real easy. Band is just up 
uh, whoop, left, right, and then channel is up and down. And the cool thing about this module is you can even use the um, the channel buttons on your Fat Shark to change through all the the channels, which makes it really easy to uh, find whatever channel you're using. The fit and finish on the Rapid Fire is second to none. It looks like a premium FPV. Um, video receiver. It feels super solid when mounted on the goggles. All the injection molded parts are like super smooth and uh, and beautiful. There's not like little burrs hanging out or anything. Everything is real nice and smooth. Um, unlike the Furious FPV which looks like a prototype and it creaks and cracks when you when you push the buttons. Ah. And it looks like very, I don't know, the, the, the way they design it just looks kind of like like an afterthought. Anyways, all right, so let's just go through the menu and uh, we'll just talk about the features of the Rapid Fire. Oh, by the way, if you want a custom logo, custom startup logo like this, you just go to the Immersion RC Rapid Fire uh, website or page and then just download the firmware updater and then there'll be a little place in there where you um, upload your logo. It just has to be a inverse image um, black and white bitmap. That's 128 by 68 um, or 64 pixels or something like that. It shows you everything on the, on the updater. You just put your uh, logo on there and you just hit update and then it does the... Um, puts the logo on there. Anyways, um, let's go through the menu. To go through the menu, you just push down on the little button, and then um, from here, if you want to change your bands, you can do it this way. Just go right, and then here's your channels. And then this is a spectrum analyzer. Um, the bad thing about the, um, the current firmware on this rapid fire is that it doesn't have a, um, like a band scanner, a channel scanner, like the the Furious, because I know sometimes when I build a new quad, I don't know what um, uh, channel my VTX is transmitting. On this one, you can like scan through it and it'll find it, but with the Rapid Fire, it doesn't. So, but uh, you can use this to scan, and then it'll you know it'll tell you what frequency that it's on, and then you just go through um, you know. The regular process and scan and uh, change your channel to it but it's no big deal just kind of a, a hassle and then the rapid fire has two modes it's got rapid fire mode or legacy so rapid fire is when um well i'll talk about the the what rapid fire actually is later but you can either select rapid fire or legacy so legacy is just a basic diversity uh, receiver um, it compares the signal from the bo both of the antennas on the both receivers and it basically just uses the the receiver that has a stronger signal um, and then on you can set it to where it's using both antennas or either the lower antenna or upper antenna um, the reason why you want you would want to use this if, if say you're using a um, or you have a like a long range setup you can set the receiver to use just one antenna so you're saving power um, otherwise just leave it on both and then it's also got um, OSD so the OSD um, I find that it's kind of useless because all it does is basically display the RSSI on like a little band on top of the screen basically tells you which receiver has the stronger signal um, I find that kind of useless because I mean if your signal is down or low then your image quality sucks so I mean you don't really need it so I, you can you have the option to turn it off I just turn it off because it's kind of useless and then the about so on this mod or on these goggles I already have the power mod done so you can see right here it says um, you know it shows your firmware and then my power is 4.9 volts and then low power is no all right, so what makes the Rapid Fire so good? Um, the Rapid Fire uses what Immersion RC calls Analog Plus. Um, it takes a signal from both the receivers and blends the images together. Uh, using these advanced noise detection algorithms, it can predict the noise in the form of tearing, rolling fades, glitches, dropouts, uh, noise bands uh, before it even happens and repairs the signal without any added latency. 
Um, it does this without you, you even noticing. I've been using the rapid fire for about a month or so and I haven't noticed any latency or delays or whatever. Um, and then another thing that the rapid fire does is um, I know on the older um, receivers that if you're using the DVR and you have like a bad signal, it does tend to drop frames out. So it's not very reliable for when you're reviewing race footage. But with the rapid fire, it's supposed to not drop any any frames. So that's good for um, if you're, you know, checking your race or whatever. And then uh, another thing that I noticed is, is that the rapid fire does use a little bit more power than the True D. I would say like maybe 15% more power. Um, I use a Tattoo uh, 2200 milli or 2500 milliamp uh, 2S pack, and I can still fly all day without needing to recharge. Um, even if I had to recharge, it's no big deal. It's definitely worth the the better video if it uses a tiny bit more power. So the race footage here is from a race this past weekend in a parking garage. If you've ever flown in a parking garage, you know it wrecks havoc on video signals. So the video here I'm using is using the same antenna setup on both receivers, a TBS Triumph on the circular and the RJX patch antenna. The DVR footage always looks a lot worse than when you're actually flying. I'm pretty surprised that the True D did pretty well and the overall image looks very similar. But you can see when the signal got really bad, the True D had some blackouts, whereas the Rapid Fire held the video. Here I'm comparing to my friend's Clearview. Both receivers performed really well with minimal noise considering it was in a parking garage. But once again, the Rapid Fire had better video. When the signal got bad, the Clearview had some blackouts, whereas the Rapid Fire held the video again. Keep in mind the Clearview cost more than double the price of the Rapid Fire. I think the Clearview goggle modules are about 380, whereas the Rapid Fire is about 160. I didn't get any chance to get any footage with the LaForge, but from my past experience with LaForge, they perform about the same level as the True D. So it's hard to tell how good the Rapid Fire are just by comparing two videos. I've been using it for the past month and never once had I had a session where I was really frustrated with video issues like I had with a True D. Um, I've really never um, noticed any video issues at all ever since I started using this. Especially when we're outside racing, um, you know, in a regular park or, you know, grass field, whatever. And I really like the simplicity of this, this little five-way joystick. It's really easy to use and it makes tuning into the right channels really easy. And I love how the rapid fire saves the last, um, the channel that you used. So for about $160, um, the rapid fire for me is a no-brainer to, to upgrade. Check it out for yourself. I think you'll really like it. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments um, in the website. And then they'll get answered a lot faster that way. So thanks for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe.